Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video. This is going to be a quick one. It is a not surprisingly late Patreon perk video. This is for the month of October. Typically, I try to get them out by the end of the month, which um, or the beginning of the next month. But um, I'm a few weeks late on this one. Part of it is it takes my patrons a, a little while to get all of the um, the stuff filled out to get their perks and um, to get their questions filled out, uh, the, the emails for the basis, stuff like that. Um, but this is just about the last thing you guys will see from October. And then at the end of this month, which is coming up very soon, uh, the perks will be given out for November. Um, hopefully I'll get those out a little bit sooner than usual. But um, that all being said, this one is addressing the base building questions and the base review. Now for this month, didn't have as many um, active patrons. A lot of people still donated, which I really appreciate, um, but not as many patrons uh, opted in for the perks and uh, asked questions or gave uh, bases for review. We just have one question we're going to be addressing today, um, and it comes to us from, let me pull it up here, uh, Clemens Schmid, or Schmidt, I think there's typically a T at the end when it's Schmidt, Schmidt but um, regardless, uh, long question, but it's a very good question, and I'll uh, spend this video addressing it since it's the only one we have to talk about today. Um, the question is specifically about defending the witch slap, um, I assume at Town Hall 9. Of course, I know that you made a video about it, but I still have trouble with it. Mostly the only thing um, or mostly the only thing that can make my basis less easy to triple with witches is putting the seeking air mines to locations where the healers might be dropped, but, uh, but for me that is too much of a compromise. But even if there was only one healer on a group of witches, they have no problem with outside giant bombs. So now uh, the question, could you give an example of a base element that mostly kills a group of witches without having to put two seeking air mines to the outside or placing a double giant bomb there? So a very good question and um, not a town hall on myself, but I think I can give some uh, reasonable answers here. Uh, and I, I have quite a few things I think are, or at least decent ideas that are worth testing. So the first thing um, comes down to air defense placement because air defenses, they are going to be better against the healers on the witches than they would be against the healers on a queen walk because the witches have less range. So the healers are going to be closer to the air defenses when the witches encounter them, giving you a better chance of getting those air defenses to take out one of the healers. So it's a good idea to put air defenses um, if you're worried about this strategy, kind of like on this base you see right here as we take a look at the replay, um, towards the outside but not in the corners. If you, drop, if you put your air defenses on the outside and in the corners, they'll drop the witches, wait for the air defenses to go down, then they'll drop the healers. But you, if you have them in the middle of the base, they pretty much have to drop the healers right away in order to get any value from them. And when that happens, the... Um, the healers are going to run a risk of getting um, shot by those air defenses. So they can still be in good spots to defend against La Lune. You can still have cannons around them and keep your air targeting defenses in different locations. But putting them in the middle, um, not in the middle in terms of how close to the center, but putting them not in the corners but on the sides of your base and having them in that outer layer can defend against witches very well because um, it will take out those healers a lot quicker um, than, than it would otherwise. So that's one recommendation. Um, also, you can put a seeking air mine near that um, air defense, maybe a few tiles out. So in this base behind this elixir collector, um, it'll still hit a lava hound if it comes in on an air attack. But that way, even if the air defense goes down, you have that seeking air mine that's going to hit one of the healers and you're not compromising the seeking air mine position too much uh, because it's still there to defend against air attacks. It'll still hit that lava hound uh, but keep them in the uh, on the sides of the base, not in the corners, and keep them at least some of them towards the outside to try to knock off some uh, some some healers there. Also, spring traps are a great thing to fling witches off because the skellies won't trigger them. If you put a spring trap just right next to a wall, um, and if you're worried about hogs and stuff, you can put a Tesla or a mortar near it. That way, you're still going to get value because the hog will go in that area because there's a defense right next to it. So the spring trap will get a hog 
either way, but also it has a chance of getting a witch as it walks around the outside of the base. Another good thing to think about. Um, also make the pathing inside your base difficult. You want to not only make it hard on the witches, but also the kill squad that has to go through the middle part of your base. So if you can have it be something a little more difficult than just a double jump through your base, maybe that means um, having like one big compartment, having lots of uh, compartments that span, uh, that are very wide and um, difficult to predict. The golem pathing, the queen pathing, just not your typical um, very evenly compartmented core of your base because that'll make it too easy to jump through and it'll make the, uh, the witch attack even more appealing for an attacker to do. So thinking about the middle part of your base is important, not just about the witches. Um, here's another idea that I like, and it's the Tesla small bomb farm. So the idea of this is you have a Tesla farm on the outside of your base. Um, some of them on the outside of the walls, maybe some of them in one of the compartments. And what you do is, and the reason you do that, first of all, is um, actually, sorry, but uh, getting off track, you can see a, t a troll test that killed a witch, which was pretty impressive. Uh, this one actually is going to be uh, the witch slap attack. So something to think about. This base, not a great one to defend against it. Um, the air defenses in the corners there, like I said, they can just drop the healers far away from it, or they can just wait for the air defenses to go down. So not the best base here. But the Tesla farm is a, a decent idea. If you can put small bombs near it, what that'll do is it'll kill those skeletons um, as soon as the witches get close, they'll, they'll trigger one of the small bombs, which will kill any skeletons around them. Then the witches themselves will be exposed. And if you can get two point defense on a witch, typically that'll kill it. So the healers can be shot through. They're not the, mo the most efficient because they tend to only target one witch. Um, so if you can get multiple point defense concentrated on a witch, this one's a little bit more of a crab shoot, but it's doable. Uh, you can take out witches because the small bomb will trigger. It'll take out the skeletons. The witches themselves will be exposed. And um, the tr Teslas are very high damage. Pair them with a few point defense or even like a wizard tower mortar type thing nearby. Uh, that, can, that can take out those witches for you. Also, the king on the outside. Um, once again, small bombs near him. If he locks onto a witch, that witch will die. Um, the only thing that can kill him are those skellies, which can overwhelm him. But put some splash damage near him, put some small bombs near him, keep him on the outside of the base in a place where the kill squad's not likely to enter from, and he can take out some witches as well. So think about that too. The heroes are pretty good defenders, better than your average defense that a witch can overpower. Um, I think that covers a lot of it. Once again, um, in terms of making the kill squad part difficult, you can have some surprise Teslas screw up the golem pathing so they don't go in the base. And if they don't take the core out, those witches are good around the outside, but they have trouble getting in. And as the angle changes, the expos tend to target them directly. The healers get shot down. So if you can make it so the golems don't go in and the kill squad doesn't take out the core of your base, you have a pretty good chance of defending even if the witches go 180 degrees around your base. And finally, just remember the range of the witches. They can shoot um, over a wall and over two tiles. So they can shoot one tile farther than a wizard or an archer can. So keep that in mind. If you want to have a defense out of range of a witch, it has to be um, have three tiles between it and the wall. That's one tile less than you would if you're defending against a queen walk. So all that in mind. Hope it helps. Uh, Clemens Schmid uh, or Schmidt, thank you for your support in the month of October. And that'll do it for this video, guys. Hope this uh, advice helped other people as well. And if you want to have your question answered, be sure to check out my Patreon page. Uh, but that'll do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.